Find the building under the Scheduled tab, locate the building, and tap Inspect in the upper right corner. Here you'll see all the fire alarm systems that have been set up for you in the back end. In this example, we have one fire alarm system. Here, we'll tap Fire Alarm under the Fire Alarm System section. Next, we'll tap Alarm System Information and fill in the information accordingly. One thing to note is this information may be filled out prior to the inspection in the back end. If that's the case, you'll see the information added on this screen. If this screen is blank, no problem, you can add it in the field. Add the information accordingly. You'll only need to do this once meaning you won't need to fill this information out again next time you go to perform a fire alarm inspection at this building. Tap the back arrow to the fire alarm systems page in the upper left corner. Next, we'll tap control panel. If control panels have been added for us in the back end, we'll see the control panels listed on this screen. In this instance, no control panels have been added for us in the back end, so we'll add them in the field. Tap the plus button in the upper right corner and fill in the control panel and battery readings pop up accordingly. Tap Save in the upper right corner when done. If you need to add additional control panels, tap the plus button in the upper right corner and repeat the process. To go back to the fire alarm inspection, tap the back arrow in the upper left corner. Now we'll add and inspect our alarm devices. Tap Alarm Devices. Here you'll see alarm devices that have been added for us in the back end of Inspect Point along with four devices highlighted in gray. The gray indicates they have already been inspected. Here we note that we have to add a new alarm device. To add a new alarm device, tap the plus sign in the upper right corner. Choose the alarm device type, fill in the fields accordingly, and answer the inspection questions. Tap save when done. will be redirected back to the devices listing screen where we can continue to inspect the alarm devices listed at this building. To do so, tap inspect to the right of the device, answer the inspection questions accordingly, then tap save. Once you've inspected all necessary alarm devices, tap the back arrow. Here you'll see your fire alarm system inspection. Answer questions accordingly. To answer the questions in the systems test and inspection section, tap the white circle to move the toggle switch button from white to green. This is indicating that one and or both was performed. Continue to complete the inspection as necessary. Record any notes, document any photos, and when done, tap done at the bottom of the screen. Tap Review and Complete. Gather all necessary signatures and tap Finish Inspection. A pop-up will appear, indicating the inspection is being marked Finish but has not yet been sent back to the office. Tap Yes, then tap Close in the upper left corner. And if you are connected to a Wi-Fi or data connection, tap the blue button, Send to Office, and Mark Complete. It's only when you tap this button is the information sent back. 
A message under the blue button will indicate when the data was sent back to the office and at what date and what time.